This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. A Raja will be grilled for three more days as CBI gets an extension of custody. Balwa will stay in CBI custody for four more days. Jailalita gets her 63 couples married but does not talk of her party's marriage with other parties ahead of the polls. Attacks the DMK and the UPA. <laughs> DMK rule is under fire ahead of the polls. Vijay Khan props up the dying units issue. Left comes to the aid of, aid of the textile industry, slams the government over cotton exports. After seven days, the chief minister finally agrees to meeting the striking mill producers. Hike in prices is the foremost demand. Constable complains of workload, shoots himself to commit suicide. Flora and the fauna in the Wet Sciences campus could be ploughed out by the Chennai Metro Rail. A special story on the controversy surrounding around the Chennai Metro. It is not just the Lady of Justice who has blindfolded herself in courts. Meet this barrister who spreads light even as he always remains in darkness. After embarrassing the mighty Aussies, men in blue look to take on the fierce Maoris from New Zealand in Singara, Chennai. A very good evening and welcome to Late Night News with me, Ashmit Kumar. Let's take a look at developments coming in from across the country. A big relief for BJP government in Karnataka as High Court upholds suspension of five independent MLAs. End singer Rahat Fateh Ali Khan's protective custody immediately. Pakistan Foreign Secretary Salman Bashir tells India. A 24-year-old is killed by her parents in Agra, all because she was in love with a boy from a different community. Market regulator SEBI probes if the stock markets was manipulated. The indices are up by almost 3%. Surprise wins, major upsets and Lady Gaga in an egg. The highlights from this year's Grammy Awards. Well, first up in our top story, Raja now finds himself firmly within the grasp of the CBI. The investigating agency has been granted three more days of custody for former telecom minister A. Raja. Now, the court has also allowed a CBI to question Shahid Balwa for four more days. Now, an adding insult to injury, the CBI will also be slapping charges of cheating and forgery in, an, in the FIR. And the CBI had told the court that they need more time to pin down Raja on how he favoured certain telecom companies in getting 2G licences while rejecting other bids that caused a loss of nearly 22,000 crore rupees. Now, the agency told the court that both are highly influential persons and that's every possibility that they will tamper with records and try to win over vital witnesses. Well, in some news now from the camp, opposition camp rather, the marriages of Aam Admi, sanctified by political leaders, often turn into a stage for political posturing. Now, it was no different when the, uh, when the Queen Bee presided over the free wedding of 63 couples. This was organised by the AIADMK ahead of Amma's 63rd birthday on February 24th. And although the knots were tied on Valentine's Day when Jaya spoke, there was no love in the air. Take a look. Even as the formation of alliances for the upcoming assembly elections is still at negotiation stage, the arch rivals in the state politics convert every single event into a political campaign. Speaking at the free wedding of 63 couples to mark her 63rd birthday, Jaya Lalita harped on the 2G spectrum issue and the dynasty politics in the state. <laughs> Meanwhile, for the 63 couples handpicked by various office bearers of the AIA DMK, it was better than a marriage made in heaven. Each newlywed took home goodies worth 85,000 rupees, courtesy of the Jai Lalata Forum, a wing of the AIA DMK led by former minister Nainar Nagendran. 
the AIA DMK which criticizes the DMK's freebies is not exactly shy when it comes to conducting free weddings. AIADMK Supremo Jai Lalita's attempts to reach out to the electorate through different welfare measures may not match the magnitude of the ruling DMK's freebies to the electorate. It will be a few months before the impact of her goodwill measures is known. In China, with Peel Mohammed, this is Ashmit Kumar for NDTV Hindu. And well, the incumbents seem to be on the receiving end from all quarters on a range of issues. After Amma's spectrum scam charges, DMDK chief Vijay Kant came down hard on the government, taking up the cause of the dying units in Tirupur. Now, Vijay Kant alleged that the government had failed to lend any assistance to the 4.5 lakh workers who are employed by these units. In January, the Madras High Court had ordered the closure of these dying units, citing their failure to comply with the environmental norms. Now, Captain alleged that inaction and apathy by the government has resulted in the order. He also claimed that the government was uh, trying to create a divide between the dying unit workers and the farmers. He has now announced protests at uh, Tirupur on Friday. Well, another sensitive issue has been the decision on whether or not to export cotton. Now, the CPM raised the ante against the exports and demanded a ban on exporting waste cotton. The left argue that exporting waste cotton creates uh, shortages, which leads to uh, price rises, hurting the textile industry. Now, meanwhile, power looms have uh, shut down for two days now, protesting the exports. Well, the state can heave a sigh of relief now. The Milk Producers Union has uh, finally uh, withdrawn the strike. Today was uh, day eight of the protests. The producers have been demanding an increase in procurement prices from uh, 15 rupees a litre to 22 rupees a litre. After remaining a mute spectator for seven days, the Chief Minister has uh, finally invited the Tamil Nadu Milk Producers Welfare Association for talks. Now, this is scheduled to take place tomorrow. This is the first time that the Chief Minister has come out and addressed the issue. But on the other hand, the AIDMK Supremo was uh, quick to criticise the government. She said that the strike was justified and that the government was being lethargic. Well, some disturbing reports coming in from the district's Anand Raj, head constable of Armed Reserve Police, committed suicide by shooting himself with a service revolver. Now, 45-year-old Anand, normally on security, on personal security detail for visiting VIPs, had uh, complained about a heavy workload uh, this afternoon to his wife and said that he was feeling suicidal. Now, at 5.30 in the evening, he shot himself. Trichy uh, DC Rupesh Kumar Meena visited the site and is conducting an inquiry into the incident. Anand Raj is survived by his wife and two children. Well, back in the city, on the one hand, uh, these are heritage buildings uh, dating back a century. And on the other, this is where our lawyers work. And yet, the magistrates court in Georgetown are an example of neglect. The Chief Justice of the Madras High Court pulled up the government and said that he wants uh, things to be in top shape within the span of two weeks. Peer Mohammed brings us this report. toilet and the library in the premises of Georgetown Metropolitan Magistrate Court. Poor hygiene, lack of furniture at this over a century old court moved the Chief Justice of Madras High Court to make some sharp observations which did not go down well with the DMK Law Minister Dure Murugan. The three judge bench including Chief Justice had taken the case suo moto and made these observations. On Monday, the court reiterated the points made earlier. Wilson submitted the report admitting the entire uh, statement of uh, statement inspection report of uh, uh, Honorable Chief Justice and uh, given an undertaking that uh, it will be the first model court. They are going to uh, renovate their building and this will be the first model court. He uh, kept the public interest litigation 
live. He posted the matter on February 20th. He wants this the entire thing should be uh, made ready by two weeks. The surprise visit of the Chief Justice has made all the difference. Though the government reacted defending its measures, the admission of its guilt in the High Court is an indication that a lot needs to be done to improve the conditions in the lower judiciary. <laughs> காலையில் ஒன்பது நாற்பத்தைந்து மணிக்கே கோர்ட்டு வளாகத்துக்கு வந்து பல இடங்களை சோதனை செய்தார் கோர்ட் ஹால் வக்கீல்கள் ரூமு மற்றும் பாத்ரூம் மற்ற அடிப்படை வசதிகள் எல்லாம் அனைத்தையும் சுற்றி பார்த்தார் அவர் இங்கே இருக்கிற நிலைமைகளை எங்களிடம் கேட்டு இந்த நிலைமையில் நீங்கள் எப்படி ப்ராக்டிஸ் செய்து கொண்டு இருக்கிறீர்கள் இது சம்பந்தமாக நீங்கள் ஏதாவது மேலிடத்துக்கு சொல்ல சொன்னீர்களா என்று கேட்டார்கள் நாங்கள் ஏற்கனவே பல பேரிடம் சொன்னோம் ஆனால் இதுவரும் எந்த நடவடிக்கையும் எடுக்கவில்லை என்று சொன்னார் Chief Justice M. Y. Iqbal has almost made it a mission when he said that his inspection of the subordinate judiciary would continue. He has also ordered the setting up of a committee comprising Registrar General of Madras High Court, Home Secretary and Chief Engineer of Public Works Department to monitor the need for infrastructure in the judiciary. This is a big relief for the lower judiciary in the state. In Chennai, with reporter Peer Mohammed, Lok Priya, NDTV Hindu. Well, smiles return uh, on the last street. The Sensex stages a smart bounce back. We get you more details on the other side. Keep watching.